Aloha e ohana. Joshua Hathaway here. I am, we are the Human Thriving Project. Just capturing a few final moments of this beautiful sunlight on a beautiful Sunday. It's been an emotional day for America. It's an emotional time for America. There's a lot of tension in the air. My neighbors are having an argument right now. And President Trump was shot at. And people are getting real. There's these feeling fields that are traveling through our collective right now. And they're intense. And that's okay. We can handle it. But only if we keep breathing, fam. And I'm kind of... Well, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed at the level of humor being aimed at this in a violent way. In the ways that otherwise perfectly good people who wouldn't wish death on anyone are showing colors that aren't beautiful to me. While others are lionizing Mr. Trump. And everybody's ready for an argument about it. About this. I thought if any of us can do anything for ourselves and each other at this time, it's to practice Ho'oponopono. Ho'oponopono. Can you say it? Ho'oponopono. Yeah, just roll it around. Ho'oponopono. Ho'oponopono. It's a deep practice and lineage within the Kanaka Maoli tradition, the Hawaiian tradition. That's been simplified for a colonized audience to, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you. that and it goes so deep so much deeper than its surface but even just those four phrases don't have to look any farther than that for a lifetime of fruitful spiritual practice I'm sorry please forgive me So, I just like to have this on repeat in my mind as much as can. Because when I really engage with these words, then I get to ask myself first and foremost, hey, I'm sorry. Well, what am I sorry for? Well, that and that. Please forgive me. I've always got something I can forgive myself for. Thank you. Self-gratitude. Always nourishment for the heart. Find something to be grateful for yourself for. Thank you. Thank you.
thank you for not punching anybody in the face today. Thank you for tending to your nervous system. Thank you for getting out of bed this morning when the world felt so heavy. So I anchor things like this into my heart and mind. I plant these seeds in my heart, as they say, in the mantras. By singing them over and over again. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. cells of our body, every cell, every part, every bit of our hearts, illuminated by sincere acknowledgement of harm or pain, sincere asking for forgiveness, sincere gratitude. And sincere aloha, sincere love. Anyone who 
was harmed. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry this happened to you. Please forgive me. I'm sorry I could not prevent it. Thank you for your resilience and your beauty and your life. I love you. I love you. I love you. And there's nothing Donald Trump can do. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing my dogs can do or my beloved can do to prevent me from apologizing for my mistakes or the mistakes of those who came before me who are like me. I can apologize on our behalf. I probably did that somewhere along the way to somebody. and each other here in these difficult moments, these tense moments. The fate of our nation is on the line. Just like every four years. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. You can sing the refrain. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. about you just today at the river as I was having a very sweet connection with a trio of Mexican brothers and as I've been noticing in this small mountain community I just moved out to that I actually feel more welcome by people with brown skin around here people with white skin have not gone out of their way to make me feel welcome and I haven't like been connecting with them down at the creek like I have my more melanated brothers and sisters it's interesting how that works sometimes and Paley commented on that in an interesting conversation we were in one time suggesting that that might be the case for me and it is I often find myself more at ease in groups that are more brown Space for swagger, <laughs> which I just can't stop doing. Because I'm just this motherfucker right here. And I make mistakes all the time, so I gotta get really good at saying, I forgive you, I accept you. Yeah, you, I see your beauty and innocence, I forgive. I accept you, I see your beauty and innocence, I forgive you, I accept you, I see your beauty and innocence, I forgive you, I accept you. I 
I've been in the world and I've been places and I've been studying and researching, but there's nowhere in the world that you can understand Ho'oponopono better than by the people who invented it and carry it forward. The people whose most important term in their whole lexicon is aloha, which means hello. It means goodbye. But really, it just means I love you. To make righteous righteous, to align the wheel so it doesn't wobble, to restore integrity and the balance with a capital B, huh? Achieved through forgiveness, through humility, through accountability. I'm sorry. First words, accountability. I'm sorry. First words and ho'oponopono. I'm sorry accountability not just like i'm sorry if you think that i no no i'm sorry for the ways that my unconscious actions and my own wounds that i'm still working through bled out onto you and made your moment less wonderful than it could be i'm sorry for the ways that i got tight with you and expressed myself in less than kind ways i'm sorry for the ways that i've been distracted less available to just saturate myself in your beauty and tell you how beautiful you are. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for denying you this nourishment, denying both of us this nourishment. Hey, e kalamai, they say in Hawaii. E kalamai, shine the light this way. It's not I'm sorry. It's shine the light over here, please. Please shine the light on me. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Aole. Honey boy, Zen, thank you. That's enough. Come here. Hey. My dogs get barking at the neighbors sometimes. Shh. Honey boy. Honey boy. Hey. Aole. That's enough. Hurts my ears. Hurt yours too. I'm sorry. That's enough. Please stop. Please stop. I love you. Please stop. It's enough. Shh. Thank you. <coughs> Honey boy. That's enough. Lie down. Lie down. Thank you. That's enough. Zen, lie down, please. Thank you. <coughs> shh, 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 shh. Yeah. Sometimes accountability is like that. <coughs> Who a color mine. A color mine. Oh, oh, bono, bono. Mahalo, aloha, eh, kalamai, ho, ho, puno, puno, mahalo, aloha, eh, kalamai, ho, ho, puno, puno, mahalo, aloha, eh, kalamai. Oh, oh, ponno, ponno, mahalo, aloha, e kalamai. Oh, oh, ponno, ponno, mahalo, aloha. Please shine the light over here. Let's make things right again. shine upon us all. May the beautiful light of love shine upon us all. The light of the sun shine upon us all. May the light of truth, may the light of compassion shine upon us all. May the light shine through us all. E kalamai. May the light come this way, through me, through you, radiating from your beautiful eyes into the people that you encounter in the world. This is your birthright. And if things are difficult, if you're feeling low, 
to breathe and come back and ho'oponopono with yourself. Reconcile within yourself what feels, what hurts right now. It's okay. It's okay to hurt. It's okay that it hurts. Let's make sure that our hurt is met with love so that we don't go spilling our hurt onto others and making more hurt in the world and escalating the violence, yeah? That's how all the violence escalates. So we don't take care of our pain or ask for help to take care of our pain. We, we go trying to fix something that's, that's causing it in our minds. I think we have enough historical data to understand that love is an inside job. Trust is an in inside job. Compassion and forgiveness is an inside job. Peace is an inside job. Nobody can take any of these qualities away from us. No one in the universe that we don't empower to do that, that we don't choose to do that as a character in our own lives. Nobody can just come and take that. You can take my body, but you can't take my love. Take my car, but you can't take my love. You can take my dogs and kill them, but you can't take my love. That's mine. That's my responsibility. And I'll feel my grief and I'll feel my pain. I'll feel my loss, but I won't turn it into violence of any kind because I'm a guardian of the peace. I'm here to be a guardian of the peace, which means that I must myself be peaceful. First and foremost, I first and foremost protect the world from myself. That's all. That's the only one I can really protect the world from. But I can help others to be protected when I'm at peace. When I can bring peace into moments of conflict that myself or others may be involved in. And we are in some conflict globally, nationally, and that filters into all of our relationships, these fields of energy. They have their own intelligence and their own movement. And they, they bring like weather, they bring emotional weather into our days. And we can't control the emotional weather, but we can influence the weather by the way that we meet it. First and foremost, we can choose to meet whatever weather is showing up with love and gratitude and find the beauty in it. Find the, the thing to appreciate. And as I do that, well, shoot, I'm influencing the global weather, aren't I? I'm influencing the emotional weather of the field. Because not only am I taking things in, but I'm radiating. And if you just keep circulating that angry, contentious energy, that people are benefiting significantly from you running. Well... Well, they're benefiting financially and in power structures, but not actually. Nobody can benefit. Nobody can benefit from you being unhappy. Nobody can benefit from your anger. Nobody can benefit from you doing violence with your words or with your body, with your thumbs. And calling people names is violence. Telling people who they are is gaslighting and violence. Telling people why they're doing what they're doing is violence. Asking people who they are and why they're doing what they're doing is called dialogue. It's called curiosity. And each of us has an opportunity every day, all day long, to restore our sense of gratitude and love so that we can meet the world from that place and meet everyone we meet there, no matter what they're doing. Because I can intervene in difficult situations from a place of gratitude and love far more effectively than I can intervene from a place of panic or rage. My panic and my rage are for me, they're not for the world. My love is for me and for the world. I share that in my overflow. So, just a little moment to come together today, fam. To breathe. 
to remember what we're grateful for, the power of love, to tenderly acknowledge to ourselves or any others in our lives, just within the sanctity of our own hearts, any way that we've caused harm today, any ways that we've fed negativity or missed the mark of love in our words or actions. Humbly ask for a willingness to forgive and to clean the slate so that we can start fresh again with ourselves and others. So simple. You can never do this too much. You really can't. So thank you for joining me and sharing in this manna with me today. Bless your heart. Aloha eh.